state of the art. Right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Triple Six coming at you with another comic book haul video. And uh, like the last time, man, uh, I'm just gonna try and keep it moving. Actually, I think I tried to shorten my stacks a little bit so I can see if I can cut down a little bit on my video time. Um, like I said, I'm just going to turn and burn, man. I'm just gonna show you guys books that I'm picking up. Every now and again, uh, I might have to go and look something up because uh, I might want to give a little bit more information. But for the most part, I think everybody's pretty familiar uh, with what's going on out here, uh, what's trending, what's hot, what's not. So with that being said, let's kick things off with, uh, I've shown this book before. This is Weapon Hex, number one, The Variant. I've shown it before. Uh, I like this book. Um, like, like I said before, you just never know what's going to happen in the MCU. So, yeah, anytime I see this, I'm picking it up. Here's a book that had some controversy. This is Superman Red, White, and Blue, number one. I'm not going to get into it. You know, we got so much going on in society right now. Um, just what's happening out here in the communities, uh, in the comic book community, uh, you know, it's, I guess it is what it is. This is where we are right now. But uh, anyway, uh, if you're interested in this, check it out. Uh, I found two copies of, I don't know if this is cover A or B. I uh, also found a variant as well as another variant for that. This is Avengers X-Men number four. Uh, we've got the first appearance of this character here. I don't know his name off the top of my head. Uh, if you guys are curious, definitely go check it out. Uh, there was some conversation on this a while back. I think it was my guy Thorough. He was talking about this. And uh, I was like, yeah, I, I like that. Let me pick that up. I found two copies of that. This is just strictly a cover buy. Uh, this is Moon Knight number six. For me, this is just a cover buy. Uh, dope book. I liked it, so I had to get it. This came out not too long ago. I'm sure everybody knows about this. This, this is that Spawn 327. Just that uh, dope Todd McFarlane homage to himself. Uh, ASM 3 300. Oh, uh, this caused a little bit of rumble when it came out. This is that Black Panther number three. This is the second print. This is the first appearance of Tosin Oduye. Yeah, uh, if you guys didn't see what happened with this book when it first dropped, not the second print, but the uh, cover A, cover B, and definitely, man, that one in 25. <laughs> And that thing went crazy when it dropped. I've never seen a book the week of release go up over two, three hundred dollars. And I think a top sale was close to six hundred in the additional weeks. Just 
insane the spec on this guy. You know, he hasn't even done anything yet, but I get it, man. Uh, nobody wants to be left behind. Everybody's trying to be ahead of the curve. But anyway, like I said, this is that Black Panther, number three, second print. And of course, you know, I got that cover B, just a beautiful cover, beautiful. And I got that, is this Adam? No, that's Alex Ross, the cover A. And uh, when these when this stuff started getting crazy, me it made me start going back and uh, picking up some of the additional titles. Uh, one that I think is noteworthy that you guys might want to think about is that Black Panther number one. Uh, anyway, this is like the what? Let me take it out. I think this is like the second print. Like I said, I'm gonna try and keep this moving, but I think this is like the second print. Yeah, this is the second print. And uh, the reason why I think this book is noteworthy, and uh, other people have talked about it as well, so I'm not saying it's just me. Uh, I, I've read this. I've been reading this series. It's interesting. But uh, they they bring uh, what kicks this whole thing off. Let me see. Is you've got this, uh, this, this woman right here. She is. She ends up calling uh, T'Challa because they're on a secret mission, mission, mission for Wakanda. Her and her partner. And this is where you get their first appearance, and I think her partner ends up getting killed. Uh, spoiler. Sorry if you haven't read it, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. Anyway, like I said, this is what makes makes this book something that you might want to keep an eye on. And this is prior to the introduction of uh, Tosin. So like I said, I picked up the second print. I know I've got some first prints around here somewhere. I've got so much stuff going on. Uh, I'm not sure where they're at. I just started grabbing some stacks so I could show, but I've got two copies of that second print. I also picked up the 1 in 25 for this. Uh, these books aren't going for anything right now. This is basically just dead speculation. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody really cares about it. And that's the way I like things right now. Right now when nobody's looking at this stuff. So I picked up uh, two copies of this 1 in 25. And I also got the 1 in 50. These things are going for cheap. Nobody cares about this right now. And like I said, this is just the way I like it. But I picked up two copies of the 1 in 50. We'll see. Time will tell. I find it interesting. Uh, have you guys seen that? What is it? Secret Wars 2, number 3? That's actually starting to catch some attention of people right now. I found that funny. I showed... Uh, I've been pulling those books out of the dollar bin for years now and just been showing them in previous videos, man. Uh, check me out. Like I said, this is going to be a short video. I've got so many books, but I'm doing this kind of late tonight, so I just wanted to get some on the books. Let's show some incentives. This is Trial of the Amazons, number one. This is that Jen Bartell, one in 25, the team variant. It's a wraparound, just a beautiful cover uh, when it came out. This I wanted. I had to get it. Speaking of incentives, I believe this is, yeah, this is a one in 10. This is that The Amazing Spider-Man, number 88. This is Hulk, number four, the one in 25. I think this is a 1 in 25. I just bought it because I thought it was a dope cover, man. This is Squadron Supreme number 3. Just a uh, awesome cover, man. Uh, if you guys are interested, definitely do your research. Like I said, I just wanted to show some books I'm picking up. We know why this got hot. I found this. This is that Superior Iron Man number 1, in, number one, 1 in 25. This is a variant. You know, those rumors, Tom Cruise, man, Tom Cruise. 
I was happy that I found this. Uh, this was still in my LCS, man. I was surprised. It was just buried behind other books. Um, people, they didn't want it, I guess. So this is that Phoenix, uh, Phoenix song, Echo. I just think it's a beautiful book. At the time, uh, I wasn't in it. Uh, but the more I kept thinking about it and the more I kept seeing it popping up, I was like, man, let me go get that. This is that Defenders number one. I've shown some uh, regular cover A's for this book. This is the one in 50. You know, this is where we got Defender Strange, uh, Dr. Strange in his new uh, costume. I'm thinking that, and I didn't realize it before, when I was buying those point one uh, Marvels, Marvel point one or just point one, the first appearance of Sam Alexander, I didn't realize it, but uh, he Strange is on that cover in this costume. So that might be the first uh, uh, also appearance of Defender Strange. Um, oh, speaking on that point one, first appearance of Sam Alexander, man, I was showing those back in the day. I was just pulling those from everywhere. So uh, I definitely hope you guys got those because that is definitely now starting to heat up because of the news that we got that Nova is coming to the MCU. And uh, it's probably going to be Richard Ryder, but, you know, the direction that Marvel is going with all these young characters, a lot of people are banking on Sam Alexander showing up at some point. And uh, I definitely thought that too. Uh, I've got a few of his books. I've been buying them for a while now. I got another one of these. Uh, I had to get it. This is that is it Adam Hughes or Alex Ross? Hey, Alex Ross. It's one of them, but this is that Miracle Man number 12. I've shown this before. I want to say Adam Hughes. It looks more like Adam Hughes than Alex Ross, but don't quote me on it. Do your own research. Hopefully, uh, Marvel's going to be able to do something with Miracle Man. Um, we know that he's in that timeless storyline, but we'll see. I picked up some store variants that I was interested in. I missed this when it came out. On New Comic Book Day, but this is that second print, Duel number one. I picked up two copies of that. I also got the variant for the second print. Just a nice cover. Speaking of store variants, when I saw these, I had to get them. This is that She-Hulk. Number one, it homages that, uh, is it Hulk? It's Hulk 377. There you go. But I just thought these were some great covers. It homages all three prints. That right there is dope. You gotta admit, that's a nice cover. As well as that. And this is... Greg Horn homaging the artist Dale Keown on that uh, Hulk 377. And speaking of second prints, uh, these were the only Spider Gwen books, uh, Edge of the Spider Verse uh, second prints that I wanted. So I picked up this Spider Verse Gwen Stacy. This is the what, Shannon Mare? I really like that. So I had to pick up two of these. Oh, and check this out. Hang on just a second. Okay, so you guys remember uh, those who follow me? Do you remember me picking up these cards right here? Um, I saw them and I really liked them. They kind of reminded me of anime. These are done by Peach Momoko. Remember me showing those cards? We got the we got Shuri.
Jubilee. These were out of that uh, Marvel Flarium uh, set. What year was that? Was it 2016? Hang on just a second. Anyway, that's Daniel Moonstar. What year was this? 2019. Copy that. We've also got the Black Widow. But uh, you guys remember me showing these? Anyway, I don't want to get too caught up in this. That's a great card right there. All of these are Peace Momoko. Well, all of these except for maybe like that uh, Squirrel Girl and maybe that Black Widow. But the rest of these definitely are. We got the Scarlet Samurai. And this was a dope one. That Lady Deathstrike. The Black Cat. But anyway, I'm showing these because, you know, just sometimes when you got a hunch and you just you got a feeling, you just got to go with it. I saw these cards. This is what made me pick up the rest of those Peach Momokos. Check this out. This is that Spider Gwen. Nobody was talking about these. Nobody was showing these. I just liked them. I picked up two of these. And little did I know at the time when I picked these up. And by the way, I got these for a little nothing. Go see what these things are, are people trying to get right now on eBay for these cards. It's crazy. Sometimes it's just the right place at the right time or picking something up at the right time. But anyway, like I said, I had no idea when I bought these that... Marvel would be doing this. Well, not Marvel, but uh, I don't know what store did it. It could be. Uh, don't get me. Uh, don't get me lying. I can't. I don't know what store uh, put this variant out. But check this out. Look at that. Was that not perfect timing? These will. This pairs nicely, doesn't it? Look at that. I actually like the uh, trade dress variant better, but I bought the set, the trade dress, and the Virgin. But like I said, look at that. I had no idea they were doing that when I was looking to buy these. Just timing sometimes, man. You know, sometimes you just got to go, go with your gut and buy what you like. You know, collect what you like. That's what we're always talking about. But like I said, I think these will pair nicely, and it would really pair nicely if I ever get into the grading game and uh, I could get like a 9, 8, and uh, what is it, PSA, uh, is it PSA? Yeah, PSA 10 or something like that, and that'd be nice. I'm not saying that's what those cars are or these books, but that would be nice. Okay, let me grab my next stack. Hang on. Okay, we're going to change it up a little bit. All these next books I'm getting ready to show, I picked these up from Half, Bite, Half Price Books. So there's no spec on this. I just like the art. This is Action Comics Weekly, number 639. Uh, just the Phantom Lady. It kind of reminded me of uh, early uh, uh, Todd McFarlane or an early uh, Adam Hughes, you know. I was like, yeah, I like that. So I just picked it up. No spec on it. Like I said, just something in half price books I liked, so I grabbed it. I've talked about this book before. This is uh, Spider-Woman number five. I think it has something to do with, uh, what's her name, Morgana? Is it Morgana? You know, dealing with Morgan, uh, Merlin and all that. I, was, I talked about it in my uh, down the rabbit, rabbit hole of speculation videos that I did. Uh, dealing with the dark hold. Her name's not Morgana, is it? Oh, Morgan Le Fay. 
anyway, uh, check it out. This was a cover by for me, just a great depiction of Flash. And uh, is this the reverse Flash on the cover? I don't know if he was going by the reverse Flash at that. Yeah, I guess it was. Let's go reverse Flash. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, this is the Flash, number 225, dope cover. I've been buying these excellents. I've been reading them. Uh, I've got a couple more issues so that I can complete my run on this and I uh, can get caught up. But this is excellent. Excellence number two, just a variant cover that I've never seen before. Kind of got that bitter root, bitter root vibe. The artist on this is probably Carrie Randolph. I just like this cover. There's a variant that I would love to find of this where the 25 cent price does not match the actual sale price. But anyway, this is X-Men number 423. I've shown this before. Grifter number one. Just a nice Barry Windsor Smith cover. Speaking of dope covers, we've got Superman 204. No spec. Just a great Jim Lee cover. I think there's a Batman cover that uh, he's got this same pose and he's standing on the opposite side. So they will kind of pair together really nicely. Batman and Superman facing off. I think there was some hype on this a while ago. I don't know about now, but anyway, I finally found it. I don't even know what the spec was on this, but this is that DC Universe Rebirth Annual number two, Batman. I like this cover, that's why I picked it up. You know, half price books. It's not costing me a whole lot. I believe this is a David Finch cover. This is the New Avengers number eight. You guys already know every time I see this, I told you I'm picking it up. This is that Jessica Jones number one, just a dope David Mack cover. I told you guys I'm finding this all over the place now. This is that Fantastic Four 511. No point in talking about it. You've heard me say it before, so I'm finding them now. Cheap. I've shown this cover before. I found another one. We've got X Force number 125. I think the one that I've shown before, I think the last one I showed was a, a newsstand. And I think I also have another direct of this. So this is finally starting to show up for me. This is my second uh, copy of this. This is Young Justice number one. The first appearance of this young girl right here. This is not a Alex Adam Hughes cover, but it's just a dope uh, dope Catwoman cover. This is Catwoman number 44. I'm not sure who the artist is on this, but uh, like I said, it's just a beautiful Catwoman cover, man. So I had to get it. Just a dope. Uh, is this David Finch? The Batman, Dark, the Dark Knight. Batman, the Dark Knight from the New 52. I've shown this before. This is the last days of Miss Marvel, number 16. This is the first time Kamala Khan meets up with C Carol Danvers. I know there was some spec on this. This is Star Wars, Star Wars Tales, number four. I think this is the first appearance of those droids that uh, Moth, G Moth Gideon uh, released, the death droids or something, in the Mandalorian. When Luke came out and had that epic, epic, uh, he had his moment. You know, he had his epic moment. Um, I think that's what this is. Don't don't quote me on that. Do your research, but I think so. But I know there was some spec on this a while ago. Speaking of dead spec, we got Civil War number two, the variant, the the uh, Deadpool variant. I was glad to find this. Dollar fifty. This book when it was hot. Had all that Civil War uh, spec. That book was going for crazy money. Now $1.50. This was a nice little pickup from Half Price Books. This is Superman, Lois, and Clark, number eight. Uh, first appearance, cameo, early appearance, uh, whatever, of their son, Connor Kent. I showed the other cover where Lois is, I think she's about to give birth. Man, 
this book right here that I'm about to show, I've been trying to find this when I first found out about it forever. It seems like years. And when it was hot, I couldn't find it nowhere. Nowhere. And now that I think that this is dead spec, it just pops up at a half price books. Check this out. We got Aquaman number two. And uh, this is, hang on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this came out in 2011. This is the first first appearance of uh, is it Trench King. Like I said, I couldn't find this nowhere. And then just at a half price books, it pops up. This was a nice little find. This is Gotham City Sirens, number nine. I also found this beautiful cover. This is Gotham, Gotham City Sirens, number eight. That's a beautiful cover right there, right? Got to admit, that's dope. And then this, I think this is an incentive. This is Green Lantern, Emma Warriors, number seven. Dope cover. Speaking of beautiful beautiful covers, I've shown this anytime I anytime I find this man, I'm picking it up. This is Green Lantern Corpse number 53, first appearance of Sinestro's daughter, Saronic Natu Natu. Anyway, that's just this is just a dope cover, man. Just beautiful. Check this out. This is the first time I found this. I think this is the Walmart. Is this the Walmart variant? This is Spider-Man number one, the gold variant. I think this might be the Walmart variant. Anyway, I have never owned this book, and I was surprised. Had to get it. And probably the best font. It costs a little bit. It's not a very high grade. I would say it's a mid, mid to... I'm not even gonna go that far. This is maybe a 5.0. Um, but like I said, for the price, I couldn't leave it. It definitely needs a press. And uh since I've been in the game, I've never seen this in a long box. And to see it in a long box after all these years when this came out, I had to get it. But anyway, check it out. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight at a half price books. Like I said, I paid a little bit for it, but it was well worth it. I own this. Uh, I bought it back when when this first ran, back in the day, you know. <laughs> I'm dating myself a little bit, but oh well. You know, this was a great series for me growing up as a kid. So like I said, I own the full run of this, but uh, this is that first Black Suit Spider-Man. Just a great series back in the day. Let me grab my last stack. There was a little con that, uh, was this even a con? I don't even know if I want to call it that. Let's see, what are these books? Oh, yeah, I guess it was. There's a little small, small local con in my area. And uh, that's where I picked these up, probably about a month, month and a half ago. Well, not that long ago. I'm going to say, yeah, that's about right. Anyway, I love this book. There's no spec on it. I just, uh, I wasn't collecting this. I wasn't collecting it this time. But anytime I see this book, man, uh, I just, I like it. And for a dollar, I'll buy it all day. This is Superman number 123. And what really uh, caught my attention is it's my first newsstand of this. There's a second print to this that uh, you guys definitely want to keep a lookout for. But I just love this book. There's another one. I see, it might be 124, 125. I can't remember. But it's just him on an all black background in that blue and white suit. Just. I just think it's a, such a striking image of Superman. I would love to see Superman like this on the big screen. This is, of course, after that death of Superman, and he came back, and he was like this for a while, I guess. But like I said, uh, I think this was around the time when I started getting out of the game. But just a beautiful book. I love this book. 
I think I have this. No, I know I have this uh, in a nine six, I believe. I should I, one of these days. I'm gonna get this in a nine eight. We'll see. This is at Howling Commandos number one dollar. You can't beat it. Why not? I found another new stand of this. This is at Nova number two. I've shown this before. This is just a cover buy for me. Love this cover, man. Just a dope cover. I've shown this book before, so I'm not going to get into it. This is at Alpha Flight number 14. Well, uh, I'll just say I think this is the first appearance of Elizabeth to a young man as an adult who later becomes a uh, talisman. Check this out. This is Bone number one. I think this came out in like 90s. Uh, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, this is like the seventh reprint of that, but I've never seen any Bone number ones anywhere ever. <laughs> so to see this, yeah, I snatched it up, man. I had to get it. Maybe this is the start. You know, sometimes you just have to get that first one and then things start opening up for you. Found another one of these. This is that Thundercats number two. I think this is, yeah, I think it's just a dope Jim Lee cover. Complete my run on this. I think I have one more book to get. This is Ironheart number two. Never had that. And never had number four. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but man, you go to like the cons now or you go out of town and you hit up a comic comic book shop, man. These guys are, I get it. You know, this stuff is hot. You know, everybody is going crazy right now. And, you know, the, their prices are getting higher and higher. It's getting harder and harder, you know, to try and get out here and dig, man. These guys are on it. I'm not mad, but, jeez, some of these prices are ridiculous. Uh, check it out. I was out of town last week. My company sent me out uh, to go to some meetings. Uh, I was in Phoenix. Not Phoenix. Yeah, I was in Phoenix. No, I wasn't in Phoenix. I was Well, I was in Arizona. Uh, all last week, I hit up a couple of shops and just, you know, I found some pretty good books. Uh, maybe I'll show them in my next haul video, but, uh, like the one shop I went to, man, that dude just, his prices were just ridiculous on a lot of things that he had. And I was just like, man, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So I just picked up a couple of things and I was like, I'm out. I've been wanting this book for a while. This is that Supergirl number one. I don't know if this is, let me see, is this, is this Middleton or is this, uh, this may be a Peter David cover, but anyway, when I saw this, I've been wanting this for a while, so uh, I was glad to finally find this. Yeah, first Linda Davis, copy that. Uh, let's keep it moving. Sorry about that. Got caught up for a minute. I was happy to find this. Found this in the 75 cent bin. This is Jonah Hex number 53. Just a beautiful Tucci cover. I was I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I was like, what? Nice. Nice. We've got Moon Knight number 36. I believe this is the first appearance of, oh, this is the first meetup between the Punisher and Moon Knight. I was surprised when I found this, Mark Spector, Moon Knight, number four. I think this is the first appearance of Midnight. And then I was extremely happy to get this. This is Moon Knight, number 14. Been wanting this for a while. This is the first appearance of, what's her name? Is it Stained Glass? Stained Glass Scarlet? Let me see right quick. I think that's how you pronounce her name. 
Yep, first appearance of Stained Glass Scarlet. This came out in 1981, just a beautiful Bill Sienkiewicz cover. And a book that has eluded me for years. Years. Man, it's been driving me crazy. I was so happy to finally find this. I'd have gave him just about whatever he wanted, just so I could get it off the checklist. And, you know, like I've said before, sometimes you got to pay in order for the universe to open up to you and these books will start coming. But anyway, check it out. This is that Avengers Unplugged number five. This is the first appearance of Monica. Is it Monica Rambo as it's not Spectrum. Uh, she she goes by some else. Photon. There you go. First appearance of Monica Ram Monica Rambo as Photon. Man, this book has eluded me, like I said, for years. Been seeing people in their haul videos just pulling up multiple copies. I can't even find one. Like really, man. But, you know, you hear a lot of these guys saying, you know, uh, books that they find, they can't find books that other people are showing. So it's true. It really is. This was just a cover buy for me. Uh, just a beautiful uh, Wolverine number 55, a dope Simon uh, Simone Bianchi cover. It's homaging something. I can't remember. But, uh, nope, this isn't Simone Bianchi. I think this is Greg Land. Is that what this is? I thought this was Simone Bianchi, but it might be Greg Land. Anyway, I was happy to finally find this. I've, like I said, I've seen other people showing this. I'm glad to finally be able to show show it on my video. Before I'm getting close to wrapping it up, but before I do, I definitely want to make sure that I get this one right because this is a book that has also been on my list that I have never been able to find. And it finally, finally showed up after years of trying to get it. Check it out. We've got Batman Beyond number three. This is the, this came out in what, 1999? This is the first appearance of, what's this dude's name? Um... Yeah, but I'm going to have to look it up. It was right on the tip of my tongue. And just like that. Because in the last uh, Batman Beyond series, there was a, a woman that they thought that, well, actually, she, she was going to become the next, um, what is the name? Blight. And that just never materialized. Man, these Batman Beyond books are great. There's so much spec, so much potential in a lot of these titles, but they just never they never come to fur, 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 fruition. They just never do. You know, people have been dying for, to see something with Batman Beyond. Uh, they just dropped a new title that has some controversy with printing or s cover A went to the West Coast, cover B went to the East Coast, and... I don't know. There's just always something going on with Batman Beyond, but maybe one of these days. Anyway, I finally got this bad boy. Finally. Man, another book that's been eluding me. But like I said, things have been getting really good lately. Uh, check out your local cons. Check out cons anywhere if you can get it, that are close to you, if you get a chance. You just never want, you never know what's going to show up. Check this out. I found this bad boy. This is Brother Voodoo. Oh, this is Cable and Deadpool, number 48. Just a beautiful cover, man. That really is nice. Speaking of a cover I saw years ago, but I did want to give, they wanted like 25 or something for it. I was like, I'm not spending that. Well, I should have bought it. It was like 20 or something. I, I think it was like, it was like $20. I was like, at the time, I was just getting in there, going and traveling to other places. I was like, I'm not spending that, man. I'm trying to make my money go. I'm trying to make it long. I'm trying to get as much as I can when I'm out. But I regretted it because I never saw it again until now. Check it out. 
We got Deadpool number number 65. Dope. I was so glad to find this again. Just a beautiful cover, man. I'm happy to have that. Speaking of a beautiful cover, I couldn't believe when I saw this in the long box. I hurry up and pull this out. Check it out. We got Vampirella Strikes, number one, the Milo Manara variant. Nice. Nice. In the long box. Now, I've shown this before in a haul video. Like I said, they're starting to come to me now. Maybe one of these days I'll find it in a dollar bin. <laughs> anyway, this is Captain Marvel number 16. We've got the we got a cameo of Philavel. And like I said, when it starts, it rains. When it rains, it pours. Check it out. Bam! Captain Marvel, the new Captain Marvel number 17. The first full Phyla Vell. And if you thought I was done with Captain Marvel 17, I'm not. Check it out. Earth, Earth's Mightiest Hero, Captain Marvel number 17. We got the second full appearance of Kamala Khan. Nice. And we already know that second print. That's the one, man. That's the one you want. This is the book. But you want that second print. But to find this, I have never seen this out anywhere. Like I said, man, once it starts getting good, when it rains, it pours. I've got a very positive attitude now when I'm out and about. I'm like, man, stuff's just going to come to me. Like I said, these guys are getting a little crazy with their prices. But sometimes you just got to go with the flow, man. You got to go with the flow. And speaking of going with the flow, my final book. For the night, I have been wanting this book forever. Well, your boy finally got it. Before this character got, gets, got, is, goes anymore out of control. I finally got it locked in at a price that allowed me to pick it up. And it is a beautiful, beautiful copy. And this beautiful Mylar, check it out. Bloodstone number one. There it is. So now I've got the full set of this little mini series. But to finally be able to lock this in, man, before she shows up, because she's coming. Make no mistake about it, she's coming. Man, this was an awesome pickup. All right. So if you managed to hang with me, I appreciate you. Like I said, I show some dope books. Um, some I've, I've got some books from my past videos, man. You guys should check them out. Some stuff that I've been showing has been showing up lately on Hot Tens and just, uh, yeah, just uh, things that are trending, man. Um, if you guys are like me and you want to try and be ahead of the curve, you should be soaking up as much knowledge as as much knowledge as you can. There are a lot of great content creators out here. Check them out, man. Uh, you don't have to just spend time with me, man. Go and check out a lot of these guys out here. They're doing a lot of great stuff. Excuse me, showing a lot of great books. Just uh, out here educating the community. You know, just doing what they love, and I'm enjoying myself. Um, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing, uh, hopefully this is going to be the year that my channel grows. So I said I wasn't going to say it, but I am going to say it this time today, tonight. Who knows? I might say it again in the future. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, this is a lot of work, man. I sat and watched my boy Sequential the other night. He put out a three and a half hour video. And I soldiered through that bad boy the whole time. I sat and watched the whole video, man. That's how serious I am about, uh... That's how serious I am about uh, listening to what other people have to say, man. Um, I just enjoy it. It's what I do. Um, but anyway, like he said, man, this is a lot of work. And for these guys that are out here, you know, just putting this stuff out, man, you guys should check them out, man. Um, spend some time with them because this is a lot of work. It is a lot to put this stuff together, to get set up if you don't have your own little uh, home studio. Um, you know, it's a lot of work, man. Um, my boy, he's been trying to get me to, uh, do another, uh, down the rabbit hole, um, 
but you know, I I do want to do one, but man, that that last one I did it that drove me insane, you know, because I was man, I got so deep when I say down the rabbit hole of speculation. When I went down that rabbit hole, uh, I just I, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it off my. I could not get the topic for what I was looking for off my mind. I mean, I was just doing. It's a, it took a lot of research. It is a lot of work. Just it, it is. That's uh, definitely some place that I want to go. But you know, show a brother some love, man. Show me some love. You know, if you guys like what I'm doing, definitely. Anyway, like, you know, subscribe. And with that being said, you know what time it is. It's time for me to say, until next time. This is your boy, Triple Six. I'm out.